This video is supported in part by Retro Days, a place for nostalgia nerds to gather, share memories, chat, and engage. Go to RetroDays.com or check their YouTube channel linked below. Hey there, have you always wanted to play Dragon's Lair at home but couldn't afford the space or the money for that giant arcade cabinet? We may have the solution for you coming up right now. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No gates, no guns, not a lot if you're a grown up. Hey there, and welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm George, and I am a Gen X Grown Up. I want to thank you for taking the time to check out this video and hopefully the rest of the channel. We've been covering the mini arcade movement here at Gen X Grown Up for quite some time now. Everything from arcade classics to my arcade to one up arcade, even to those little credit card mini arcade games, we've covered them all. And they all have their pluses and their minuses. But there's one line that really stood out to us, mainly because of their attention to detail on the arcade cabinets and the games themselves. And those are the Replicate mini arcade units from New Wave Toys. Not too long ago, John reviewed the Street Fighter II Replicate Mini Arcade Unit. You can check out that video right over here. And shortly thereafter, New Wave Toys reached out to us and asked us if we would be interested in reviewing the latest addition to their Replicate line, Dragon's Lair. Being a huge fan of the 1983 Don Bluth Classic, I couldn't wait to review this unit, so I asked John if he wouldn't mind if I did it. He said yes, so let's get to that review right now oh boy okay so i have obviously been waiting for this moment for quite a long time we have the don bluth presents dragon's layer box limited edition 12 inch play scale arcade machine from new wave toys this is their replicate x model this is identical to what i remember from the dragon's layer arcade unit that i used to play all the way back in 1983 so all right enough talk let's get to opening this thing here I apologize, I do not have nearly the amount of studio space that John has, but hopefully you guys can see how beautiful this box is. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, okay. I know it's just foam and some manuals and stuff, but take a look at this right here. You got a little Daphne sticker. I can see some other stuff. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. Looks like, yep. This is going to be a USB cable probably for charging the unit. That's going to be awesome. Little foam core. We don't care about that so much. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, there it is. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. New Wave Toys, Replitronics. You're making me happy. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Marquee is beautiful. And this was something that was... I don't remember a lot of arcade units having that bend around their marquee at that time in 1983 they might have i just don't remember it i remember the first time i saw this arcade machine in the arcade and there was a line of people and people were talking in the line about it being 50 cents to play but man look at oh we got clicky little oh they're clicky those are so clicky oh i like that oh so is the joystick oh that's nice yes definitely feels I mean, it's small, it's micro, yes, but it feels like an arcade button. That's so cool. Look at this. We got the little butt. Oh, these click. The little returns for the coins on the coin slots. That's awesome. Now, the coin slots themselves are not all the way through, but they're cut in a little bit. That's nice. We got the little coin return spot. My fat sausage fingers are not going to be able to open it. There it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. I mean, obviously... These little clicky points are what go here to clicking these buttons. I'm not sure what those are going to do. We're going to find out. But it's got a solid metal feel to it. That's nice. And look at this arcade art on the side. That is identical to the arcade cabinet. That's just gorgeous. Let's flip it around here. Okay, so we've got quite a few little items here. We've got a USB 1 and 2. You got your power button. You got your volume wheel up down here that must be the chart yep well it says charge so there you go <laughs> and we even have an hdmi out in case you want to see this on the screen but that's not really what we're looking for here we are looking to see what the screen looks like on this device again beautiful little decal sticker on the side i love that they're that they're building these things one at a time as opposed to some of the other companies who they just get a stamped out model of whatever many that they want to go with and they're just applying decals and stickers to it to make it simulate the original let's go ahead and pull off 
Oh, there we go. The arcade cabinet is absolutely gorgeous, but let's take just a quick little look here at these accessories. I'm gonna move the guy out of just for a second, Dragon Slayer, don't get mad at me. Oh my goodness, okay. So we've got what appears to be a manual. We've got a little Daphne sticker in there. This is running on the Daphne arcade emulator system. So it is the original Laserdisc ROM. Let's see what all we've got here. Oh, and we've got our traditional replicate coins. Those are awesome. Those are going to go inside the cabinet. Yay, little arcade coins. We've got our Daphne sticker here. She is just as precious as she can be. Oh my goodness. Look at Daphne. You're so sweet. We love you. We're going to rescue you, Daphne. We promise. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Is this what I think it is? This is a laser disc from Rep. Oh, that's so cool. The laser disc that technically would have been inside the arcade cabinet. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. I've got to open this up. Okay. A little flap. It feels like it's stuck. I don't want to force it. Yeah, I'm going to leave that alone, but that's awesome. Let's take a look at the manual here real quick, see if there's anything unusual about it at all. Dragon's Lair. Got all your buttons and all your fun stuff here. It's got your... How they did the transfer, all the different arcade shapes. That's gorgeous. That's really nice. New Wave Toys. Look at it go. Mini Laserdisc player type. Huh. So there's a mini. Where's the mini laser disc player? Is that inside this thing somewhere? Let's see here if there is. I mean, there's this little compartment right here, but I thought. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. This slides out. There's something in here. There it is. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that is. The mini disc, the laser disc player, not mini disc, sorry, the laser disc player itself. Oh my God, that's awesome. This is cool. This thing just keeps giving surprise after surprise. I love this thing. Oh my goodness. Look at this little guy. Look, oh, he opens up. You could put the disc on there? No way. So we could, look, you can put the disc on here. Laser disc player, laser disc itself included with the game. And then it's got this cool little compartment here that goes back into the unit. New Wave, you've hit it out of the park with this kind of thing. That's attention to detail. Talk about that. My goodness. All right. I don't know about everybody else, but I am totally ready to play some Dragon's Lair. I just want to point out a couple of little things. We're going to have a lit up marquee. We're going to have lit up coin doors down below. And on the coin doors, we're going to talk about them in a second. The left one is the one that you're going to use for coin entry. And the right one is the one that you're going to use for getting to the system settings. But we can't do that without turning it on. So let's do that now. All right. I see my coin doors are lit. There comes the screen. There's little coin doors and the joysticks. Oh, there we go. New Wave Toys. Awesome. And Replicate Amusement Presents. A digital leisure ink production, I'm guessing. I <laughs> like the movies. Nice. Dragon's Lair LLC. Everybody's got a hand in this game. Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. I'm just going to let this run. This is awesome. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has encountered the treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues Man, that against screen the is so crisp. forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon's lair. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. All right. Insert two coins for five dirks. That's awesome because you did have to pay 50 cents. Instead of coins, though, we're going to go into the menu and see what we've got here. Okay. So it looks like we've got a screen brightness setting, so we can probably, yep, turn that down or up. Wow, it just rotates over. <laughs> so there's on its low setting, and there's its high setting. We're going to go somewhere around where it started, probably around there. That feels good to me. Um, game audio, so it says replicate. I'm guessing that's out of the replicate speakers. And, yep, there's HDMI, so if you connect this, over to a big screen TV. That's the setting you want to have your audio come out of that. 
We've got the attract mode audio. Of course, we're going to leave that on. Dirks per credit. Uh, looks like we can have, oh, unlimited Dirks. That's awesome. Three or five. Okay, that's what I remember from the dip switch settings from working in an arcade back when this game first came out. Uh, marquee, we've got on or off. Okay, makes a big difference. Definitely going to leave it on. Uh, difficulty levels. We've got easy, medium, hard. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, joystick sound. So that's when you're clicking the joystick left, right, up, down during the game. It makes that little dink sound, which is kind of cool. I'm going to leave that on. Screen blanking. I, I don't want to blank the screen at any point, so we're going to leave that off. A uh, couple of other things to note. You see this little scoreboard layout here that's kind of reminiscent of an old pinball machine. So you've got your player one score, your player one lives, your player two score, and your player two lives, and also your credits. I don't know why, but that just always was really cool to me because no video games really did that type of a display at that point. They were all digital part of the game screen. But having that little extra thing, just like a pinball machine, always, I loved it. I thought it was very cool. Um, well, I think what we need to do now is we need to go back, turn these settings off, go back to our game. We're going to have to enter some credits. So there's one credit. There's two. Two quarters means one credit. One, two. Yeah, that's awesome. 25, 50 cents. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and give this thing a test run and play a little bit. See what we get. Oh, entry to the castle. Here we go. I hope my fat sausage fingers can do well on these controls. <laughs> okay, straight forward. There we go. One room down. Oh, horsey time. Right, left, right, left. Another left coming up. And a final left. There we go. We're out. Now, this is one of those levels that was always cool to me because you think you're done right here, but you've got, still got one more move. you got to grab this chain. Bing! And you're done. Nice. Oh, balls of doom. Here we go. Just a series of downward motions with the joysticks until the last one. You're going to have to jump forward right now. Forward, and now just a bunch of swords. A bunch of button pushes. Yay! <laughs> Man, this thing plays accurately. This is beautiful. There we go. Nice. Oh, this one always missed me. Got to go this way. Forward, right. Jump in. Left. Forward. Right. Sword. Oh, I missed it. It was a right there. Man, Dirk is so much fun. I think we're going to pause it there. That's awesome. There you have it. Replicate X Dragon's Lair from New Wave Toys. I mean, if you're a Dragon's Lair fan, this is almost a must have. They're not going to be that many mini arcade units put out for Dragon's Lair simply because it's a laser disc game. It's a little bit more complicated. It takes a little bit more space on the chip. I mean, with today's chipsets and Raspberry Pis, that shouldn't be no problem, but for some reason, there's just not a lot of interest in putting out these with, from the different companies. So the big question is, is this something that you should do or should you go with the stand-up arcade unit? Now, stand-up arcade units I've looked online they can range anywhere from $500 to a beat up one that you have to do some damage repair on and whatnot, all the way up to a couple of grand for one that's almost in perfect working conditions. And I'm sure the prices will vary in your area wildly. This unit right here, however, is $119.99. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the price. For me, this is an instant buy at $99.99. And John and I have talked about that when he first reviewed that Street Fighter 2 unit. I felt the same way then. I still feel the same way now. However, being that it's a specialized unit like Dragon's Lair, somebody like me is going to be okay with shelling out that extra 20 bucks probably anyway. But if it's more about the arcade gathering mini collector thing like John does, I don't know if 119 is going to be the right price point for this system. Like I said, I think it's going to be around 99.99. dollars 
That being said, that's really my only ding against this unit at all, and it's a very small ding. I mean, the controls are top notch. The light up marquee, awesome. The fact that it's bent around just like the original, great. The side decorative art is perfect. I mean, the little joystick, that cool little mini disc arcade player thing with the little laser disc that they put in the back, just as a replica, it's just a toy. It's not functional or anything, but that's just awesome. All of those things combined, I mean, I really, I know I'm biased and I know I have rose colored glasses because of my love for Dragon's Lair from 1983, but I kinda, yeah, I think I have to go with four and a half tokens out of five for the New Wave Toys Replicate X Dragon's Lair. So if you've got an extra $120 laying around this Christmas, this is not a bad idea for the geek video game lover in your life or for yourself. I thank you for taking the time to check out this video and we will see you next time. Hey, you made it to the end. If you liked this video, the best way to say thanks is to watch one more. Here are a couple suggestions that you just might enjoy. And if you love our content, maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter by following the link on screen. Unacceptable for grown-ups. Your dinner cannot just be french fries.